Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win XCOM Long War. I'm Flop, and this is my Project Nemesis series. My game crashed. I had to find my way back through the terror mission. I did even better than before. Uh, we got two level ups. I'll show you who. We are in desperate need of additional troops. I think, was it Rodriguez? We're not going to win this fight. No. Uh, where, where? We got no wounds, so a little more XP. We upgraded... Yeah, yeah. Our grenadier, our vandal, got sapper, so one extra damage for all grenades, and triple damage the environment with grenades and weapons, which is awesome. And our scout leveled up, and we went for the battle scanner perk. Um, the this is amazing perk. It comes with two aim built in. Um, and it gives you two weightless battle scanners per mission and increases your throw range by 50%, um, which is huge. Uh, for one, battle scanners are far improved. Maybe they're too good. I'm going to have to see. Um, they're quite good. Uh, they're just sight range is huge. But uh, that 50% throw range, if standard battle scanners, if you're throwing them on flat ground, that is, you're not throwing them over concealment, then half of their view radius or more is wasted on area you can already see. So if you can throw them 50% farther, you actually, like, you're actually only using, I would say, 60% of the battle scanner's actual vision radius if you can't throw it. If you, without the extended throw range, because you just can't throw it far enough from information you already have. Uh, so you're getting some wasted effort there. Now, there's no room for stuff to sneak past you, but uh, I think the throw range you'll see is just incredible. Uh, plus, it doesn't take up an item slot anymore, so we'll always have some on hand. Now, we are going to wait... Uh, I did save the sh I actually didn't take the shiv on the um, terror mission. The things turned out mostly the same. Let's, you know what, let's take three people and exhaust three. Put the shiv out in front. Um, the shiv, for one, the shiv's better <laughs> against drones. And if the game's going to crash on me, I'm going to have to replay a mission. I'm going to make the other one as easy as possible. Uh, we'll stick to Gunner. For friendly as well. We'll give him that heavy cannon, which I do love. And a telemetrics kit. And laser sight, so that you can aim. And that goodness. And then... This one, rookies who are gonna level up should probably just act like commands since there's no reason to expose them to the dangers of the firefight. Except we can put a shotgun on him for that inevitable attempt to kill the outsider. We're gonna go a little light here. Um, people that might level up. This gunner, but uh, they'll be ready to go in 21 hours. No. Sniper, no. This command, yes. You know what? Let's actually do take that sniper. And. This rocketeer, sure. I don't even remember what my original stuff was. Danger zone. I want to take an HE kit so that we're more effective against drones. I think I would do that anyway, but it's hard to tell at this point. Um, she has mm, all the good stuff. Let's actually bring two smoke. Oh, Rin is playing Shadowrun Returns. 
That's what you're playing, right? Ah, nope, Shadowrun Hong Kong, nope, over here. Get your shit together, dude. Alright, medikits all up in there. Got our explosive, got our heals, smoke, and sight range. Um, marksman rifles, significantly better. Cutthroats, no. I think we should be fine. Uh, let's do put a cutthroat on you. Alright, this is a better mix. A little bit heavier weapons. Urban block. Low profile all around. Actually gonna put... Uh, actually gonna put attack armor on my Rocketeer. Generally, when you bring a shiv, you can expect it to be primary target. Touching down. Shivs are the like perfect for hunting drones. And I should have known there wouldn't be any drones on the terror mission. Because um, it's always, I feel like it just tends. I feel like that's something I know I feel about the game. I'm looking into it these days. Um, they can show up. But they're generally the least of your worries there. I guess they could just zap civilians forever. The civilians do seem quite tough, but of course this is the beginning of the game. The aliens are going to ramp it up like something serious. Let's tap the motion sensor, since that'll tell us where all the juicy meld and aliens are. Uh, or not. Let's... Let's head over on this right side. Okay, I detect some meld in the far right. Um, but I didn't see anything. This is going to be a great place to put up our heavy cannon since we seem to be kind of free of alien menace and stuff. Um, probably something you should never actually say in this game. Uh, I would love to be up on some some stuff. Uh, and this seems like a fine position. It's only a marksman rifle, but it does have significantly more range than it did. Let's just wait and see. Heading there now. Since they didn't see anything over, like they don't, I can't. There's got to be enemies somewhere, right? So let's just toss a battle scanner over here. Scanning. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own. Jeez, these things can see a long way. I'm gonna assume that means the flight computer is fully operational. Alright, so there are some drones. And my marksman rifle, right? Good positioning. Oh, they're on the roof. A shredder rocket. here without them seeing me. Full steady weapon. Hill sprint over here. Steady up here. The shiv, however, is going to go for the gold. Mm -hmm. 
Ricky is best not out on their own. Throw a smoke here, and we're gonna send our command out with that ship. He's gonna hide in the smoke. That rocketeer should be a little protected from flanking. Really, the drones won't get that close. Did my thingy will bobber die? See, nothing, Shiv. There's a meld like right behind you, and you can't see it, Shiv. I'm so confused. that. Now we do see another pod of drones up in that direction. I'm gonna just skip. I think ships can harvest this stuff. We can still see that pod a teeny bit in the shadows. Time for its rude awakening. This might even kill some of them. But that shredder will mean the damage control is not something I really need to worry about. Okay, let's look for dangerous ones. What you don't want is Raw and Slayer at the same time. Like that guy. Slayer is like the perk that will kill you. Drop one. Let's go for a low health one. As a heavy cannon, if it hits. It's gonna do the deed. Overwatch might keep them back. Probably not. Drones tend to derp through Overwatch. What do they do? We've got the weapons in the position to wreck them. Apparently if they sense horrific defeat. One of their number gets returned to full health, the repairs are obnoxious, but they're shredded. Of course, we can't hit anything. Let's move up here, maybe we can actually get a shot. Yes. Shiv weapons are the most damaging in the game. Of course, that was with shredding, so. The the Marksman shows the drone who's his boss. Shotgun rookie does nothing, as shotgun rookies should know to do. Take some pot shots. Steadying aim um, around drones isn't all that productive because 
if the drones pop you, even if they don't do damage, uh, it will wreck your steady aim bonus for the turn. So it'd just be a waste. And then drones love shivs. It's some sort of mechanical mating thing. Decent chance to hit. Fail me. On the move. Good damage to the shotgun because, of course, it's shredded. See if we can get a shotgun shot in here. I feel, Commander. With double tap, sometimes you just have to end the turn. Friendly takes 25% shot. Fails it. Drone goes stealth. It's repaired. Oh, shotgun. Oh, rookie. Come on, I don't know. Suicide by drone, guys. Okay, a little bit of damage. Okay, that one's landed. We can't miss. It's also shredded, which means, yeah, 10 base damage. When they land, they're so easy to kill. Oh, but when not... There's, they can be such, so hard. Shiv, but the shit's way tougher. Pretty sure I give drones heat by the end of the game. They can really mess up your shivs. What? Did you freeze again, game? Oh, maybe it's actually just auto saving. Yeah, yeah, saving. So did you just re did you just I'm not sure why it's so slow. I, mean, I think it has to do with the enemy changes. I think there's just much more it seems like you would only have to check those things once. I don't know. Maybe the enemies having perks takes a while. Or something. Alright, we've got one shot left. This guy's got double tap. Let's soften them up with this AG grenade. We can't land it from over here. Yes, Commander. We should not trigger the outsider unless we're very unlucky. And then we can just... It's probably going to destroy that drone body right there, but... It should let us wipe these guys out in one go. Yeah, nice damage. 
so nice. Okay, let's move here. Just to make sure it's safe. We can see all three of them. So that means just go ahead and hit the closest one. Guaranteed shot is almost so much better than a 96% shot. And when you got double tap, might as well use it. All those drones are going to be worth a lot of resources to good old XCOM. That's affirmative. So, totally worth it to take the time to Let's rock. nuzzle them gently okay. to the ground. Let's do this. They're like little loot pinatas, so while they are a pain in the butt, remember Remember what goodness lurks inside. Alright. Somebody said loot. Now. Double tap won't be up for another turn. So let's not go crazy. Affirmative. There's an outsider somewhere. Rolling out. I'm on the move. I totally wouldn't mind knowing where the outsider was. Incoming signal from battle. Did I do that wrong? Oh. <laughs> that was so wrong. Should have thrown it through that hole. Should have known that was not what the indicator meant. One of the reasons I made battle scanners better is because they're a little finicky and they're a tiny bit buggy. Stepping off. Let's get you up there. You'll be able to double tap next turn. You do have the ammo for it. I'm on it, Commander. Moving to Overwatch. <laughs> Okay. We triggered the outsider, we're not in the worst place in the world. He's got a battle scanner, we can just sneak in to the actual place. Eyes open. Alright, and he apparently can target it. Our sniper can't, which is an issue we should take care of. I'm on the move. What about right here? Let's reload a steady aim. Uh, I think our aim's actually going to be 100% against this guy. Aye, 
so steady aim might be a waste. Let's try and get some smoke on both these guys. Positions aren't too bad. Heading to that location. I'm on. Just gonna sit there, take a shot at him, but we can't suppress him. Hmm. Let's start with his shot as it's much harder for him to hit once the enemy's in cover and the damage on the heavy cannon is brutal. That Outsider, that's actually a toughie, isn't it? Let's take a look. Outsiders, of course, you can see all of their perks. Oh yeah, he's got metal. Enemies with metal are superior in terms of durability and combat potential. Also a little bit bigger. Got lots of other stuff going for him. None of which is an immunity to bullets, I think. So, although that subdermal plating just saved his skin. Uh, that is not good. On the move. Give him something to shoot at that has three health. And we'll take two one in three chances to end this. Alright, which pays off. And since we end the mission so fast, we can submit meld. See, that save didn't take so long. Hmm. Alright, all our fatigues cost us, but we did get a specialist and... Three corporals, real corporals. Ship's only out for two days. And look at that eight drone wrecks, 16 Illyrium, 26 alloys, two flight computers. So much loot. Worth it. Although now, 12 of our 33 troops are wounded. And if another mission pops up, I'm going to have to exhaust everyone. We will look at the scope and a rangefinder in two, though. Um, I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the Japan. body Japan. Oh, good. I want to launch over Japan. And the United States. Uh, not so much. But I'd love to fulfill Japan's request for a satellite. Ten days, I got that. And the other one, you know, I was going to launch over Mexico, but for two engineers, the United States, it is worth a good bit of cash. If I lose Mexico, I'm going to look like a chump, though. Total chump. Scope. Hmm. 12 weapon fragments for an engineer. They do kill a lot of aliens. Um... But weapon fragments, there's so many required weapon fragments. Uh, tough one. In the interest of world peace. No, I'm going to save weapon fragments. Hmm. Yay, a scope. Yay, more scopes. Boo, aliens. Bender bending Rodriguez. It's time to strike. We're in pursuit. 
The air war is one thing I have not changed yet. Okay, another crashed UFO. Hey, we actually have nine. Nine active people. A couple coming back in a couple days. Okay, we well, might be able to go on this mission. Is my shiv back? Nope. But it will be, right, before this thing. We definitely want to be careful with this. Oh yeah, 10 hours till the shiv comes back. Um, don't want to hit it too soon. Uh, probably just want to wait a little bit. Oh, I forgot to sell that. Uh, I really desperately need to get a repair bay going on. What do I need? 40... 40 cash. I should have done that first. Let's just go ahead and do that. Twelve iron, ten alloys. Sure, we've got it. And I'm willing to wait twelve days. I don't have that much stuff to repair. All right, we've got six energy left. Uh, I should probably think about building an access lift, a steam, and uh, probably another steam for now, although a fission plant to round out the quad is probably much more efficient in the long run. Um, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and call this one here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.